Good morning, Pete. Well, they presented some data yesterday and it was from Service New South Wales saying that around 65% of people are already wearing masks in Sydney across the public tra uh, transport network. Now, they did admit, it, ad admit that it was a self-reporting survey and it does contradict the data coming from Transport New South Wales using CCTV footage on Sydney platforms, which showed that only around 30% of people uh, were wearing masks uh, on buses and trains. Now, now, this comes after New South Wales Health revealed that uh, someone perhaps uh, contracted the virus from another commuter on a peak hour bus on August 20, just after 6 p.m., the X39 uh, route, which left Pitt Street in the city and arrived uh, in Randwick. Uh, contact tracers were allowed to use Opal data. Uh, to track down people on that bus and send them a text message to alert them uh, to what was going on. Now, Premier Gladys Berejiklian says that she doesn't want to mandate uh, mask wearing on public transport because of the complexity around implementing such a law. It would mean that some people would be turned, turned around, uh, not refused entry onto uh, buses and trains, and also says that it may... Uh, make people uh, complacent in other areas, considering it's only one line of defence and there may be other things more important, such as social distancing and also hand hygiene and things like that. Now, also, the opposition is uh, still going pretty hard on this. Labor leader Jody McKay sending this tweet. New South Wales Health has now issued COVID alerts for nearly two dozen bus routes and four train lines. See here. Enough is enough, Pete. It's time to mandate face masks on public transport.